Welcome everybody to ISIS Parenting's Breastfeeding Chat and Learn. My name is Nancy Holtzman. I'm a mom and baby nurse educator and a board certified lactation consultant and board certified in pediatrics. I'm here in Needham, Massachusetts, along with Becky Morgan, who is moderating in the chat room today. Uh, Becky is a mother of three boys and um, a childbirth educator, as well as uh, other uh, expecting and new mom areas of expertise. So today's topic is uh, talking a little bit about sore nipples. And as I began to get this uh, slideshow underway, uh, it, I realized that this could be at least uh, a 12 hour program if I focused, uh, I could focus on each one of these in such great detail. Then I thought, well, I'll do an overview. Then I thought, well, people really want to know how to, how to heal and, and uh, make their sore nipples feel better. Then I did, basically the topic just started to get so unwieldy that I had to determine uh, how to tackle this topic. So what I started to do is make a list of some of the more common reasons that I see women with sore nipples and um, tackle them one by one. So here's what I called uh, the baker's dozen reasons for sore nipples. It's, not, it's certainly not an exhaustive list, it's just a, a very typical list. And uh, today I'm going to tackle uh, the first three or so of these, and then I'll continue uh, tackling more later. So um, you can take a look at these uh, lists, and some of them may stand out to you, and some of them you may not uh, have any idea what this means. Like, what does solid food and pH balance have to do with sore nipples? Uh, this might be good for Kara to know, as I know that she has a six or seven month old uh, baby boy and girl and uh, they're starting to eat solid foods and when babies eat a lot of uh, fruits for example it changes the acidity uh, the pH balance in their saliva in their urine and in, in their stool and so uh, some moms are very sensitive to that and so for example uh, if the baby is eating a lot of uh, fruits and apricots and things like that sometimes uh, if they eat their lunch and then they come to the breast uh, very shortly after sometimes moms will have irritation just from the acidity of the baby's saliva so there's a lot of different reasons uh, that moms can have sore nipples but I wouldn't say that that's the most common reason certainly uh, the, the first three that we're going to talk about today are usually the most common reasons that people have sore nipples and there's a couple of expressions you may have heard of if it looks like a duck quacks like a duck walks like a duck, it's a duck, and then also uh, the expression that says, um, if you hear hooves, uh, you know, don't go looking for zebras. So a lot of women are doing um, uh, a lot of treatment for thrush and for yeast and for Raynaud's uh, because uh, somebody looked at their latch and said, well, the latch looks good uh, or your positioning looks good, and so they're looking for more uh, esoteric and complex reasons for the sore nipples, but almost always it, it really often does uh, come back down to the latch and the positioning. So the first uh, three reasons why women may unfortunately have sore nipples. Uh, the first is just newness. So here's a, a, a spring chicken and uh, I'm using that to represent uh, the virgin nipple. Um, your baby is born and uh, all of a sudden from, from the very get-go uh, the baby is at the breast for 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 minutes, uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 times a day for two, three, four, five days in a row, and uh, there's a piece of your physical anatomy that has not been used in such a way uh, for such a length of time ever. And so there is a little bit of newness, and that can create chapping or chafing. Um, also, the nipple itself, even a woman that doesn't have uh, flat nipples or inverted nipples, the nipple itself is held in place by tiny little threads or strands of, of connective tissue. Um, and uh, sometimes women will notice that even though their, their nipple does evert a little bit, um, two or three or four or five months into breastfeeding, they have a more classically shaped nipple uh, that protrudes more. And um, that's because, yes, one by one, these little bands of connective tissue snap and it draws the nipple out a little bit. So uh, that's also the reason why first time breastfeeding moms may have a little bit more uh, tenderness or discomfort during the early days, especially during latching, whereas second, third, fourth babies, typically there's less discomfort um, and uh, it goes easier. So uh, just general newness can cause 